Do you run a service-based business like perhaps personal training or consulting? And are you struggling to manage and track your appointments? If so, a booking website can make your life much easier. With an online booking system, you'll make things easier for yourself and your customers. No more back and forth calls or emails to confirm reservations or checking back if Wednesday at 11 a.m. is still available. Instead, you can automate the process with just a few clicks, freeing you up to focus on scaling your business. And in this video, we'll help you set up your own booking website with Hostinger's Website Builder. You'll learn how to build your site, add a booking system, integrate payments, set up legal pages, and finally get your business website online. Hostinger's Website Builder is probably the easiest and quickest way to launch your booking website. That's because our website builder was made for people with zero website creation and coding experience. You can get started by clicking the link right here and choosing your plan. The Business Website Builder subscription is perfect for a booking website. It comes with AI tools, e-commerce features, and over 20 integrated payment gateways. And if you purchase a plan for one year or longer, you'll get a domain name for free. Add your plan to the cart and choose the subscription link. For the best deal, pick the 40-month option and enter the discount code WB10 for a further 10% off. Finish by filling in your login and payment details. And as soon as the payment has been processed, you'll be able to start building your booking website. So let's do just that. The website builder onboarding will open up right after you've purchased your plan. So click start creating to let AI generate a unique website for you. Alternatively, you can hit or use pre-made templates and choose from over 150 designer made templates. In this demonstration, however, we'll be putting AI to work. First, enter your brand name and make sure to pick a catchy name, preferably something related to your business. Then choose online store from the website type drop-down menu. Next up, the description of what you do. Be as detailed as possible so AI can translate it into a website that's perfect for your business. When you're ready to continue, hit create a website. It will only take a few seconds and you'll get a fully functional website with pages, copy, and images. If you like what you see, click Edit Site at the top right. The store manager will open up. For now, we'll just do a basic setup and come back to finish it later. Now choose your country and currency. Hit Edit Website at the top right corner of the screen and we'll now review some fundamental website editing options. First up are the website styles. The Colors tab includes a list of all the colors used on the website. Click on the one you want to modify, hit Select, and pick a new color or input its hex code. When you click Accept, the changes will be visible immediately. Changing fonts is similar. Click on your current font scheme to edit it or select another from the list. Then choose the heading and paragraph fonts. Website styles also allow you to adjust your site's buttons and animations, so feel free to experiment with the options if you wish. And while we're here, let's get a little bit familiar with the drag and drop editor. Simply drag any website element to change its position. If you want to remove it, just hit the trash can icon. And if you want to customize it in more detail, hit the edit button. Use the options and sliders to adjust the element's look and feel. You can add a new element or section by hitting the Add Element button. It's located on the left sidebar. Choose what you want and place it on the page. You can edit it just like any other page element. And don't forget to adjust your website's mobile version too. A lot of your clients could be making bookings via their smartphones. And to do that, hit the Switch View button at the top. And finally, let's add some pages to your website. From the left sidebar, choose Pages and Navigation, then click Add Page. And there are a few options here. First, you can start from scratch and add a new empty page, or let AI do the work and hit Generate Page. Provide a description and click Create a Page. You can also pick the page you want from the list and choose a pre-made template. Editing a page is the same as before. It's all drag and drop. Be sure to click the gear icon next to your page to personalize your website. Now that you've got a pretty awesome website, it's time to set up the booking system to handle your customer appointments. And that's going to be pretty easy. 
From the left sidebar, click Online Store, now click Manage Store. When the store management page opens, choose Appointments from the menu on the left. Click Enable Appointments, and that's it. Next up, we'll set up your available time slots. For the best user experience, make sure your scheduling is accurate to prevent customers from double booking the same slot. Just begin by clicking the Edit button in the Appointment Schedule. Now set the time for when people can make appointments. Tick the box for each available day and choose your business hours from the drop-down menu. If you wish to add multiple time slots in one day, hit the plus icon, then adjust the hours accordingly. Finally, hit Save. Click the Block Time option to mark the days when your schedule differs from your usual hours. Choose them from the calendar and again, click Save when finished. You've now set up a basic appointment booking schedule. Time to take it to the next level. Clients will be able to book appointments for the time slots you specified in the previous step. But it's important to ensure they're right for your working schedule and the services you offer. So if you start work at 9 a.m. and finish at 5 p.m., make sure none of the available time slots are outside of those hours. Then determine how long each session should take. If you offer one hour appointments, that's the length for each individual time slot. And don't forget to take your lunch break into account as well. Well, now that your booking system is up and running, it's time to let people actually book their appointments. Appointment products are the way to do it. We'll show you how to create them in the next part of this video. While you're still on the store management page, choose products from the menu on the left. See the add product button? Hit it and choose appointment as the product type. Start by uploading a high quality image that represents your services. Make sure that the picture is high definition and in one of the supported formats. Now give your appointment product a clear, descriptive and appealing name in the title field. It should include the type of service, duration, and any unique selling point. Highlight an important detail by adding a ribbon. Short statement like new, on sale, or best deal works best here. The description is very, very important. It can make or break the success of your product. Convince your customers by explaining the benefits that buying your services will provide. You can do it easily by putting the AI writer to the task. Just provide a short description of your services and AI will do the rest. Next up, type in the product price. If you want, include the discounted price as well. Now set the location and duration for the appointment. You can schedule sessions as short as 15 minutes and make sure to adjust the minimum notice time under appointment conditions. This will prevent last minute bookings. And finally, double check the availability settings you previously set up. Your working days and hours should be accurate. If you want to make changes, you can do it right from this window. Just hit save to finish creating the appointment product. If you wish to add another product, repeat this process. Depending on how many products you offer, you may want to divide them into categories. To do that, choose categories from the left sidebar and click add category. Input its name, assign the products and save the changes. Well, now that you've nailed down your appointment products, it's time to publish them and make them available for purchase. Go back to the main screen of the editor. If you're still on the store management page, just click edit website at the top right. Then click pages and navigation on the left sidebar and select the store page. To edit the product section, just click it. If you've got a lot of products and categories, feel free to duplicate the section so they all can fit on the page. Add as many product sections as you wish and edit them all to perfection. And don't forget to personalize the rest of the store page as well. So you've now got the products, their prices, and the shop to sell them through. But what about taking payments? That's what we're going to set up next. To proceed, choose Payments from the Store Manager page. Now connect your PayPal and Stripe accounts to accept online payments. PayPal is, well, PayPal, while Stripe will let customers pay with their online wallets and payment cards. If you wish to add another method like bank transfers and cash on delivery, click Add under Manual Payment. Then fill in the name and instructions for the payment method. Check the Enable Manual Payments at checkout box and save your changes. 
Now your customers will be able to make purchases via the specified payment options. And only a few steps left to finish setting up your website. So let's get to it. Depending on where you live and do business, you may need to set up legal pages like terms and conditions and privacy policy. Even if such a page is not legally required, it's a good idea to have it anyway for transparency and other reasons. For example, a good collection of legal pages will help with the dispute resolution. In case of a disagreement between you and a customer, you'll have a clear framework for solving the issue. Meanwhile, having refund policies in place will help prevent losses by outlining the conditions for issuing refunds. Remember when we were adding pages earlier? Well, the process to add legal pages is the same. Choose the pages and navigation from the left sidebar and click add page. Now scroll down to find the legal page templates. And by default, these are privacy policy, refund policy, and terms and conditions. Choose the page you want and fill in the required details. Then click add page and the builder's AI tools will generate the page and its content automatically. Click anywhere over the text section and choose edit text to make changes. And you can repeat this process for the other legal pages. It will only take a minute. By default, all new pages are added to the navigation bar. But if you wish to have your legal pages elsewhere, you can move them to a different area. First click pages and navigation. Now drag and drop the legal pages to the hidden from navigation section. Aim for the six dots to enable dragging. Now let's add the legal pages to the footer or bottom of your website. Go back to the home page and scroll all the way down. Click the plus icon on the left sidebar and drag and drop the text element to the footer. Hit edit text to change its text type and size and insert the title of your legal page. Finally, highlight the text and click the link icon. Choose the page from the drop down menu and hit save. Finally, repeat the process for the remaining pages. And now your website is nearly there. Only a couple of more things left to do before you can publish your website. So head back to the main screen of the builder and hit preview to see what your site looks like. Make sure everything's perfect. There should be no typos, misplaced images, buttons, or broken links. Check the mobile version too. Hit this icon before selecting preview to do just that. When ready, click go live. There's only one thing left to do now. Hit connect domain. We'll be giving your website a fitting address online. When the new page opens, you'll be back to HPanel. Here, you'll be able to buy a new domain name or use an existing one. And that's it. Your booking website has a new domain name and is live. And well, congrats with your new booking website. You'll be able to manage appointments easier than ever before. And make sure to keep working on your website to increase its effectiveness. For example, start writing a blog related to your niche and fill it with engaging content. That's just one of many ways to attract visitors. Thanks for watching, and we're curious about your website building experience, so leave a comment and let us know. And if you enjoyed this guide, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos like this in the future.